Good evening. The Ute Park fire in northern New Mexico has burned more than 16,000 acres tonight. That fire burning in northern New Mexico, it started, of course, yesterday afternoon around 2 o'clock, not far from Eagle Nest, burning along Highway 64 to the east toward Cimarron. Now, firefighters tonight have really been focused on the most active parts of the fire. That is to the east and to the north. We just got some great news from fire crews on the ground. The fire that has been burning just a mile west of Cimarron, they have been able to keep it away from Cimarron. So just a mile west, but they have kept those fire lines. And one thing that's really helped them, as you can see, the fire has been burning in some very dense fuel. But as it comes down out of the mountains, the fuel is a lot lighter. And we've talked a great deal about the Philmont Scout Ranch in this area. That outlined in blue here, 140,000 acres of the ranch. And you can see where the Ute Park fire has burned right through the middle of it, including burning about 14 structures in that area. And you can see the path that that fire has taken. But luckily, the flames have not reached the Philmont headquarters. Now, the staff there has been evacuated because of the smoke. But again, headquarters has not, the fire has not reached Philmont Ranch headquarters. And as Jess mentioned, Cimarron tonight under a mandatory evacuation, that town about, about 900 to 1,000 people. Those people are gone tonight, many of them in shelters in Raton tonight. And of course, that's where we start our team coverage from Raton. Our Marissa Lucetto is live near at one of those evacuation centers. Marissa? Oh, Dean, Jess, State Forestry says they drew a good fire line around the village. Now, they're hoping that holds throughout the night. County officials say all they can do right now is pray. I hate to say that we're getting used to it, but um, we're prepared. And, uh, you know, we were able to uh, mobilize everybody very quickly and uh, I think we were fortunate to save U, U Park last night um, because of the slurry drop, and um, so there are things to be thankful for. Now the wind today caused the flames to move fast and closer to the village earlier today. This is video near the high school in Cimarron where you can see the flames and smoke turn the sky to complete darkness. Air tankers from Colorado swept through the fire, dropping flame retardant as the blaze continued over the crest, inching closer and closer toward that town. Now with another fire just across state lines north of Durango in Colorado, State Forestry says we now have to share some of the resources. There's just a limited amount of resources available to the whole country, so we, we divide the air tankers amongst the fires, the active fires, and do what we can with what we have. Uh, the governor also flew into Raton this evening to meet with county and city officials as well as residents. She says she wants to assure people they will allocate the necessary funds to help put out this fire. Now, tonight we have nearly 250 firefighters working to put this fire, fi this fire out. Officials say we have another 250 on the way and a type one team will move in tomorrow. Back to you.